Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Ooh, I will enjoy all that. For sure. You're miles up sure. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare to investigate. You'll seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Oh shit. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said that changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend's seminar well, on Beulah Avenue. Welcome, welcome to the first episode of Outlast. Late tonight you may see some low flying helicopters near Silverthorn and Leadville. Teams in the Arabian Spring for infestation. I tried to turn the gamma down pretty, pretty low so it'd be dark and freaky. Mount Massive Asylum. This is gonna fucking suck. <laughs> I've only played, I really haven't played any true horror games like this in a while. that emergency break. September 17th. <clears throat> you don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consulting at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been hurting, had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. I guess I'm the guy to do it. Yeah, it's a fucking huge ass LED light on the camera. I'm not doing any of that, by the way. I have no fucking idea what the controls are. <laughs> haven't played one goddamn second of this, so... You'll be seeing all my fucking true reactions. Objectives are updated anyway. Alright. It's kind of amnesia-esque. Esque. -la. Containing your notes and... Picked up documents... I didn't see what the other fucking documents were. Whatever. Well, to open the door quickly, press the left mouse button. To open the door slowly, hold down the left mouse button. And do what now? I move my mouse. Or, okay, there we go. To raise your camcorder, press the right mouse button. Alright, new event recorded. Press enter to read it. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Oh shit. <clears throat> oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god. See I'm in splinter cell mode. I kind of wanna climb up that pole. <laughs> Where 
the fuck am I going? First puzzle already. Figuring out how to get inside this fucking place. Of course I would enter on the side I fucking saw that dude in the window. Hold down to crouch, hold down left control. That's an awkward control. I might have to change that. Hmm. <coughs> Freaky, because somebody, like, who would the f were they breaking in or out? Yeah, they're definitely breaking in. Why the fuck anybody would do that? Do not know. I better be able to climb ladders faster than that. to get in character and start filming everything. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I fucking hate this already. <laughs> oh god. Shit, shit. Fuck, what the fuck? Dude. No, thank you. Come again. Shit, man, shit, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. You can reload by pressing R. Do not like this. <sighs> Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemant blah 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 blah. Laughter and in oh, that's kinda of fucking creepy. Um, Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Or Traeger. Note the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned in video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Holy shit. It's locked. <sighs> Do not like this. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my fucking god. Dude, this is all happening too fast for me. Oh fuck, dude! Oh shit! Oh shit, man! Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, man. I do not like this at all. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit, man. They killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. Shit, man. Shit, man. You have to get the fuck out of this town. Shit, man. Shit, man. No fucking way. Would I ever stay in this goddamn place? <sighs> holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. <sighs> Man, my heart is beating so fast right now. I do not like all these fucking dark corners. I do not like the fucking creaking on the ground. Holy shit. Time to man up, man. Time to man up. <laughs> and turn down the volume on your fucking headphones. Oh shit, man! Oh fuck! Where the fuck did you come from, you asshole? Holy shit. No, you're really fucked. Holy shit, man. Who are you, then? <sighs> I just wanna leave, man. I just wanna leave. I... I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I have a calling? Dude, I do not like this game at all right now. You watch the trailer once, and it's kind of scary the first time, and you watch the trailer again, and you're like, man, this game isn't that scary. And then you fucking play it, and then you're like, Jesus, save my life, please. Can I, like, ring a little bell? Ding, ding. I need some assistance, man. Get me the fuck out of here. Holy shit. <clears throat> In the matter of the seizure of the systems of our affidavits having been made before the board of directors, blah, blah, blah. We are satisfied that the affidavits and sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grants for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS for access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS. Blah. All right. <clears throat> Dude, I hate this so much, man. This game fucking scares the shit out of me. Oh shit. Oh fuck.
dude, this fucking game. This fucking game. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. They shut the door behind me? Dude, <laughs> holy fuck, man, this game is way too crazy. It's hard to even hold down the right mouse button right now. Just to keep. Oh shit, this door needs a key card. Oh, I do not like this at all, man. I do not like this at all. Oh man, oh man. <sighs> Dear Sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of Murkoff. Profit potential of Project Wall Rider. Man staggeringly high. The four f fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing, uh, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints. <sighs> Man. This is where the fucking guy ran into. Why, why should we have the paper? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us for being sick. Who's the people? What? I'm already beat to all hell. All to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall. Knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit. Calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. Uh, then why the fuck are you in here, man? There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut about that priest. That that priest is writing them, and for my benefit. I wasn't getting that gut feeling at all, but, you know. Where the fuck is this keycard that I'm looking for? It's saying left mouse button to close the door behind me, but I can't fucking find... Okay, well, maybe I need to go back this way. Oh, there's no going up yet. He is still alive. By the way, I realized I actually don't need to hold down the right mouse button to uh, keep my camera up. So that's really nice. That sound effect as I walk over his body, that's pretty nice. Can't pick this up. Dude, I'm fucking freaking out. I'm not even joking. 
The longer something doesn't scare me, the more I feel like I should be fucking watching my back. And the creaking, it's like, some of it feels like, it sounds like multiple tapping, and then I just feel like something's crawling around behind me. Oh, uh, hate this shit. Just give me the fucking key card, man. That's all I got. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued. Blah blah. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic So dermal eruptions is what they're calling that fucking mess with his head. Claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tura Tara lizards and their parish. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should have should be advised to watch for further self mutilation. Maybe he's trying to rip the rest of his face off. Stain the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan. Seem to be retarding progression. Predominant fixation and blood. Manic examination. Blah. Oh, I do not like that it's telling me to peek right now. I do not like that at all, man. I do not like that at all. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. That guy looks like he belongs from The Last of Us. Damn, man, there's like... That guy's fucking right leg is mutilated completely. I do not like this room. I feel like something's about to go down. Found the key card. Alright, bros. I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> Next episode, we'll see what's behind the fucking locked door. Alright, bros. Hope you've been enjoying it so far. No, I definitely have and have not. <laughs> see you in the next episode, guys.